Okay. Here we go. We are set up. Um, all right. So let me do a little bit of explaining here, real quick. We've uh, we've got our multimeter here set properly to the right voltage, and as you can see, we are currently at oh zero volts right now. We apply it to a positive. Oh look, we got four point nine eight. Now, um, what's going to happen is this. Whenever this beam here is broken, this IR beam here is broken, like say with a piece of paper, this light goes off, right? And that then gives this pin on this uh, chip right here a low voltage, almost zero. And when we bring it back up, oh look, it's high. And then we feed this pin back into the chip itself. So this is when it's uh, unbroken when the when the two lights are unbroken this pin is close to zero and then when it's broken this pin goes oh when it's broken this pin goes high um, and our light goes off we're going to use the fact that when this pin goes high when this is broken to trip our circuit because remember in order to trip our circuit over here we used to uh, connect it to a high voltage um, aka 5 uh, and instead of doing that momentarily by pressing it into this positive side here, this high voltage, we're going to use the fact that whenever we break this light, that pin goes high as our trip. Um, so let me just set this up right now, turn off our output, uh, connect our positive, connect our positive voltages, oh, that's cool, uh, connect our positive voltages, connect our negative our grounds, our negative voltages. Come on now. All right, and oh, don't want to hit the uh, the base. Um, and connect our trip over to our high pin, which in this case is pin four. Now, um, I'm going to take out the armed switch here. This little this little thing that says arm. This little thing that says arm. And now I'm going to apply five volts of power. All right. So right now we're seeing something, and this this guy is not armed. Our our burglar alarm is not armed, as indicated by the fact that the armed light is turned off. Let us arm our circuit, and I'm going to do this so that you guys can hopefully see. Oh, now the circuit is armed. Um, and if you could see, actually maybe I can somehow maneuver this so that you can. If you can see, I have a timer set up over there, uh, ready to start recording. Um, so, now let me break this light over here, that little thing, and start our timer. So I'm going to be, ooh, i got to be very careful about this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. So we're going to watch. We're going to watch this light, and we're going to hit hit start on our timer whenever I trip this. All right, on your mark, get set, go. All right, did you see the trip light turn on? Um, that over there, that light turned off to indicate that we had broken the beam. This trip light turned on to indicate that we had broken the beam. And since we're already armed, ready to go, ten seconds from now, we should see the alarm light turn on and hear a buzzer. That's in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Ha! 20 seconds. All right, so in two minutes from now, we should see the alarm light go off and the buzzer stop sounding. And this is uh, our setup. By the way, I'm, I'm currently recording from another camera behind the scenes right now. We are currently at 117 seconds, 118 seconds, 119, 120. Okay, so the buzzer has been sounding for precisely a minute right now. 
and uh, I just wanted to record <laughs> record our, my setup here. Um, oh yeah, very engineering, go me. Um, in about uh, 40 seconds starting now, 40 seconds starting now, I will find out whether this project works or not. Um, kind of nerve wracking. And uh, <laughs> a little nervous. Also a little bit nervous about the way this camera's kind of like hanging on here, but it seems to be pretty stable as long as I don't touch things. Hmm. All right, 18 seconds, that buzzer should turn off. Ten seconds. Ooh, okay, so that was about five seconds too soon. But that's still within our window, and I'm not going to complain. Um, to tell you the truth, it might also be because we're not getting a true full five volts from this chip. We're getting, uh, I think it's, gosh, I, I forget. It's like a four point, four point something. Um, whenever we block this IR, well, let me see if I can't get this, measure this, all right. Um, we get, yeah, we get 4.2 off of there. Um, so that's, that's something to keep in mind. Um, okay. And uh, could also be because our capacitors weren't uh, fully discharged. I'll have to look into that. But it works. I mean, we're within five seconds, which is within 10% of two minutes. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, one minute, four, 55 seconds is definitely within, it's definitely within uh, five, uh, five, ten percent. Five seconds is definitely within ten percent, which would be 20 seconds. So uh, I think that's good. I think we're good to go. Um, I'm going to start measuring power values, and after that, I'm tearing this guy apart and putting him onto a board and start soldering, which is going to take a really long time, but it's okay. I'm going to be up all night, so. <laughs> um, success! Success! Yeah!